Hello guys and welcome. In today's video, we are going to review my results for the last round. So this is uh, round two because uh, the previous video I did for round one. This is for round two. And uh, if you feel like you have any question that you may decide to ask me, there is an email on your screen. You can just uh, send me an email and I'll sure I'll reach back to you. So without wasting much of our time, let us start uh, analyzing. My financial statement, my sales revenue was, uh, I think I had the highest, 1.98 million. So my company is the unicorns. My profit and loss statement, in terms of sales revenue, I had 1.9. So the closest, my closest competitor had 1.4. That's like uh, 500 million more because this one is in terms of thousands. So this is 1.9 billion. So it's around 2 billion. My cost and expenses, uh, I invested more in my R&D, so I, as I was developing uh, my products and uh, increasing their features because uh, I think more customers want uh, products with more features. In my profit for the round, I had a negative 24,000. And uh, you should never worry in the initial rounds of getting a negative profit because uh, you're investing more money on your on your plant and uh, it's very advisable that you invest in promo and r&d because uh, as much as you're investing this invest this investment will make you spend more and uh, the money that you'll spend will be pushed up front and uh, you may decide to dis you may decide to be a risk taker because uh, you will decide how much money you want to spend or uh, how much money are you willing to lose so as you can improve on your plant in terms of uh, Profits, yeah, I had, uh, this is my company. I think I, I was the lowest, if I'm not wrong, but I, as I said earlier, never worry, because in the initial steps, you'll uh, be investing. In terms of fixed assets, I had this one. This is my fixed assets. My shareholder equity. Uh, my balance sheet. So let me, let me look at my administration costs. My administration cost, I had uh, 101,000. So this is my sales revenue. You can look the number of sales that I made, meaning um, in terms of sales, I'm, I'm the top. So let's go to the next one, which is uh, um, the next one. Okay, let's look at the USA market. In the USA market, my sales revenue was, uh, I had the highest. You can look at it. My sales revenue from the market is that. My sales revenue, the total one, it was 1.17 million. So you can look at my cost and expenses, my r and I, I'm, I'm much into developing new products. That's why you see that my r and is the top in among my competitors. We have uh, profits for the round. Oh, I had the lowest. And as I said, never mind about it. My income and cost structure, you can look at it. My sales from the, my cost from the market. This is, uh, you can, if you want to, you can just hover on uh, the one that you want to look at it. The cost from imported products, there is none because uh, it's like uh, in production in the USA, most of us sold in the USA. And uh, administration cost, so you can check. This is like the overall, but this is just a, uh, for the USA market. Let's look at uh, the ratios. Let's look at the ratios. Let's look at the ratios. Under the ratios, under the ratios, you can see my ratios and key financial indicators. In uh, market capitalization, I had uh, 5.7. And if you if you can remember in the last market I had, in the first round I had 5.3. So this is like I've increased my market capitalization. And uh, I've taken some of my market, for, for some of the market from my competitors because it's like they didn't provide, they, they, they did not design the goods that uh, they wanted, the customers wanted. If you look at my, under these uh, key performance indicators, I normally prefer that 
if anything that has return on it, ensure that it is in 20% and above or 25 if you are good. So my gross margin, it is uh, 27. It's above 20, I'm good. Uh, my operating profit, it's uh, below. I think I need to work on it. Again, my operating profit, EBIT. My return on sales is negative. My equity ratio is uh, more than 20, so I think I'm, uh, I'm on the right track in terms of equity ratio. My return on sales, it's below, except for blue, because uh, blue and uh, orange have uh, more than 20%. Gray has uh, remaining with uh, less margin so that you can get 20%. Return on equity, I, st I think I, I performed poorly there, but blue had more than 20%. My earnings per share, you can look at it. So in terms of uh, these key performance indicators, is uh, how, how can you balance your company so that your revenue, you, you have this balance between your revenue and your spending. You don't spend more than what you earn or you don't earn more than you don't spend. So just the, just the balance of it. So let's go to my market, my market report. Under my market report, I had, uh, for take one product, I had 20.21. This is uh, in the global market share. I was the second one, orange was the first one, and uh, the global market shares by team, I think the unicorns, our team had more. We have uh, my selling price, and uh, what I normally emphasize is that you should not price more than the others or uh, price less than the others, because if you look at me, I think uh, I improved my market share because in terms of tech one, I didn't price my product so low or so high. Now I had, uh, this one had 199, this one had 300. So for the blue product, they priced it highly. And me, I priced it at 200. It was not as high as uh, the blue or as low as the this orange because orange had 135. And for take two product, because uh, you can see that this uh, take blue company, they priced their take two at 500. May I priced mine at 300 and uh, it is uh, below from uh, just not as much as the other. So I think I'm getting, I'm gaining some market share from there. But take, uh, for, for the Asia market, again, I didn't price mine as high as possible or as low as uh, the EMS. Same for the Tech One product. I didn't price it as high as the blue and uh, as low as... Uh, this uh, take one product, no, the orange company, I mean. And uh, if I could have advised the orange, gray, and oak companies, is uh, if you have this one product in the market, don't price it as high as, as high because uh, customers may shy away from buying it. In Europe, again, I performed good there. So let's move on to... And before we move on, I like again to emphasize that if... If, for example, if for me I had one product, I could have priced it lowly, not as uh, this one, because uh, I'm trying to gain some uh, market share there. So let's move on to the report, uh, to the production report. No, the HR, sorry. The HR product, the HR report will just give us uh, an overview of what, of how we performed in the human resource department. You can look at. Uh, just uh, you can just scroll on it. My my total monthly cost per employee was seven thousand. My personal turnover is uh, three point nine. My efficiency multiplier is uh, more than one. I think I'm the highest there. My monthly cost per employee is seven point five three thousand. And uh, again, I'm averagely not uh, more more high or more low. So let's look at our production. In the production report, this is where you have to know how or what's up with the utilization because uh, low utilization will be as a result of not selling as much as possible. So the total manufactured units, you can look at it there. My capacity utilization, I had 100. These are, uh, the Oak company had 30. So what I could have advised them is, 
maybe they should stop on contract manufacturing and uh, utilize on their in-house manufacturing so as to improve the utilization. Because with contract manufacturing, it's expensive and you have to sh- to solve the ones that you got from contract manufacturing before you can sell the ones that you have done in your in-house manufacturing. So my inventories, we have, uh, there's nothing much you can talk about there. So with the capacity utilization, you should, uh, and also you should know that if you have done contract with someone, you have to do what, you have to sell what you contracted first before you sell what you produced in your manufacturing. So let's go to our cost report. Uh, 